A cancer diagnosis can trigger an emotional tsunami, and during the treatment stage, it can feel as if you're swimming against the tide. Awareness, early diagnosis, and prompt and effective treatment improve the chances of recovery exponentially. And this is what the Mela Breast Cancer Awareness Campaign sets out to do. We brought some strong personalities together for a photo shoot to promote the campaign recently, and we're inviting you to meet our heroes. As a little girl, I recall seeing my granny's mastectomy scar and thinking nothing of it. But as I grew older, I began to understand what that scar stood for. The battle, the strength, the fierce determination, and the victory. Today, we are celebrating the Mela Breast Cancer Awareness photo shoot campaign, and you are in for a triumphant afternoon. Anushka, thank you so much for having us in your beautiful home. You're most welcome. This is such an exciting campaign to be part of. Why is this campaign so close to your heart? Simply because it is a cause that I've had to face in my personal capacity. Family members have been affected with breast cancer and despite there not being any family history, I've come to realize that this can actually affect any woman of any age. How can we encourage women to start talking about these issues? There's absolutely nothing to be embarrassed about. These issues need to be not only confined to the month of October, they need to be exposed on a monthly, daily, minute by minute basis. We've realized that more women are suffering with breast cancer and the trick is early detection. So start with mammograms, start with self-examination in front of the mirror at an early age as possible. Where do the proceeds of the campaign go? All the proceeds go towards women who are in need of mammograms. So whoever is taking part with this amazing campaign, kudos to them to celebrating women in all their glorious forms. Anushka, what is your breast cancer awareness message? Do not be embarrassed. Talking about your breasts, it should be an absolutely natural aspect to anyone's life. It's part of our bodies, so we need to embrace it. And if there's something wrong with it, we need to do something about it. First and foremost, I think it's very important to raise awareness when it comes to breast cancer. It's something that affects every single woman. If it doesn't personally affect you, you at least know someone who has gone through it and you never know what the future may bring. So it's extremely important for me to raise awareness in the sense that we need to feel safe to talk to each other. If you feel a little bit of a situation there, you can call your friend up and kind of ask and know the steps to take and get the help as soon as possible. I just want you to be a part of this campaign purely to create awareness around the subject as I've seen many women go through the struggle. Well, for me, it's important to add to the conversation because I know somebody who's been affected by breast cancer. My aunt is in remission from it and I had a cancer scare a few years ago and it was a very scary thing to find a lump in your breast and have a biopsy and even live with the notion of potentially having breast cancer is terrifying. The thing I'm most excited about for today was actually getting to dress up. So to get glammed up and spend time with these strong, amazing women with incredible stories, looking absolutely phenomenal, but going through the, the toughest fights of their lives is just wholly inspiring. So I think it's all of that that makes today awesome. My message for breast cancer would be what I say to all my clients in the gym is never give up, keep fighting and take every day, one day at a time. For me personally, what's most exciting about today is that all us women here today are united in the fight against breast cancer. We're all strong proponents of women's rights and women's health, and 
for me, that's particularly exciting to be able to share this space with like-minded souls. So my message to those suffering from breast cancer would be, keep the faith, honor your body, and your body will honor you. Know that you have the right to ask questions. Know that you have a right to a second opinion. You need to feel confident. Take charge of this condition. This condition doesn't need to take charge of you. We're in an age of advanced healthcare and in an age where cancer can certainly be beaten. To me, as a comedian, how can humor help in serious situations like illness? Humor is that sugar coating over the pill. I feel like you need to laugh, you know, it already releases endorphins for you. And especially around something like cancer, there's enough seriousness going on. A laugh would be nice. The first time I actually encountered someone who'd lost a loved one to cancer, it was a comedian, uh, John Lenahan, who's a magician as well. And he told me how he and his wife laughed from the time they found out she had cancer to the time she passed away and her good sense of humor got him through it. And I felt like, yeah, this is where laughter comes in. You've had a friend who's recently overcome breast cancer. What advice do you have for someone in the support role? First of all, this is not some precious glass that's about to break. You need to still remember this is your friend. Don't turn them into anything else. They're not your friend with cancer. They're your friend who's fighting a battle and you are there to carry them through the battle. You're not fighting it for them. Sometimes you get them on a strong day and that's the day to enjoy that strength with them. And when they're at their weakest, that's the day you need to be carrying them. And you need to know them well enough to know, is this the day I share a verse? Is this the day we joke? Or is this the day I just hold them and shut up? Because sometimes we say so much and we say too much and then it becomes so awkward and they wish we weren't there. <laughs> so don't become any other version of yourself except the one that they love. Jimmy, what is your breast cancer awareness message? Fear is not a thing. Don't let fear kill you. I've heard of people who have allowed their breasts to become rock hard because they were so afraid of seeing anything or afraid of what it might mean that they found this thing. You're not an ostrich with a head buried in the sand. My breast cancer awareness message to you is get it checked. Knowledge is power. Tema, your experience with breast cancer is quite an interesting one. You played a woman with breast cancer on a popular South African soapy. Yes. How it came about for her to actually get cancer was that she was looking to have a breast augmentation. And she did the relevant research, went to doctors, and then she found out that she had breast cancer. What was the audience response like? The storyline actually affected a lot of people, a lot of families. I had a woman come to me and she thanked me for playing that role so well because it actually helped her aunt who had cancer find solutions. Tema, what do you love about your breasts? Well, I love that my breasts are engineered. Two years ago, I decided to take this decision to reduce my breasts and get a lift. But then my doctor told me that it doesn't have longevity. So then I decided to remove all my breast tissue and replace the double Ds that I had with B cup implants. And as much as I still need to go for breast tests, I have more security that my chances of finding anything are a lot less. What is your breast cancer awareness message? Continue doing your tests, ladies. Continue being aware and look after yourself. You need your body as much as your body needs you. Sheena, is female health something that is openly spoken about in your community? I think we do speak about it, but I don't think we speak about it as much as we'd like to or as in depth as I would like to. But my own personal journey, I've been diagnosed with a life-threatening illness and you almost have a fear of speaking about what's wrong with you. A lot of communities believe that you've been bewitched, you've been cursed, you've been tested. For the person going through the problem, you know, you find yourself in a very trying situation because you're dealing with your health and then you're worried about what people think about you and who would like to even be in your midst. You've recently had some health challenges that have changed your relationship with your body. How has social media affected you? Sure, in a very negative way. With any health issue, even with breast cancer, your body changes not only because of having surgery and having had your breasts cut out or remodeled or reconstructed. 
Medication has a massive impact on your body. I personally gained a lot of weight being on cortisone. And then I went in the reverse direction and lost weight because I was on chemotherapeutic agents, very much like a breast cancer survivor. And so I know too well about being body shamed on social media. And a lot of women picked on my weight gain and also spoke about the fact that they wondered whether I had a healthy weight loss. And you know, how was that supposed to be healthy when I'm suffering with a disease? What is your breast cancer awareness message? I'd just like to spread a message to women to exercise, to eat healthily, and to watch the alcohol intake. Because those simple steps that you could take can actually prevent you from getting a disease that's so devastating. The scene has been set and next week we'll get to know the women who are the faces of our breast cancer awareness campaign and hear about their personal journeys.